What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Faster Than Light. We're gonna do a new game. We're still playing on normal, trying to beat it on normal. And we're gonna use the Kestrel Cruiser layout B, the Red Tail. Because this ship seems like it'd be really good. It was either that one or we're trying to use the Zoltan to unlock some new ships. Yeah, got everything else, so we're just gonna use the red tail and it's all good. So let's power everything up, swap these two people, and save. Alright. Hopefully we can get some luck here with uh Beacons and weapons and stuff. I'm gonna turn that auto fire on. They have two lasers, so they can do damage. But we took one of them offline before they could fire, so. Now we'll hit their shields and their weapons. And we'll just keep doing that. They still got one more laser up and running, but that's alright. That can't get through our shields. Alright. Good amount of scrap right off the bat. Alright, we will get as much combat as we possibly can. Let's take out this drone. This might be dangerous. Alright. They ironed our doors, so that's not too bad at all. Alright, missed a couple times there. Alright, one more burst of lasers. We'll do it. There we go. Getting a decent amount of scrap right on, right, like, pretty quick here. More than usual. Let's, let's loot it. Oh, guess not. I'm gonna set a multiplier on the weapons, because we want to take out that missile launcher as fast as possible. Alright, they did get one shot off and they hit our shield, so we need to get that back up. Real quick. Trying to get away. Okay. You can actually go in here real fast. Oh! Alright, they're done. Oh, sweet, we already got an augment. Shield charge booster. Boost the ship's shield recharge rate by 15%. That's awesome, right off the bat. So far, really good first sector. I didn't go to that store because we don't really have enough scrap, so. And we got another weapon. A small bomb. Self teleporting explosive. Damages systems and crew. Two system damage. 13 seconds. Sweet. So if we need to get past shields, we can take one of these off and put one of those up eventually. Uh, we'll accept. So I think we're supposed to, like, hurt these guys but not kill them. They have a flat cannon, that's scary. And they got a shot off. Oh. I need to get those back online. You know, you stay in there. Alright. We got another weapon already. An ion bomb. Four ion damage. Wow. 
takes 22 seconds to charge, though. That is a lot of ion damage. Right now, we're gonna just stick with the lasers, because these are working fine right now. Okay, we got the guy. Take him out real quick with the mantis and the human. Alright. I don't really want them to come back, so let's target that as well. Keep this offline, though. A lot of misses there. That's alright, though. Should be fine. Yep. Alright, let's send you to the med bay. Steal the supplies. Not very much, only eight scrap from stealing, but that's alright. Every little bit counts, that's for sure. We're still pretty far ahead of the fleet, so we can jump around here a little bit. And I'll take this moment to get a drink. Alright, we took their beam offline before it could do anything, so that's good. I need to go for piloting more often. Because not having, like, for taking it completely offline, they won't have any dodge chance, and that just seems like it would help out a lot. Alright. Probably go here, here, here. Exit. Check their offer. First blast, though, I always like to do on the weapons just to get them completely offline. Then we go for shields, piloting, stuff like that. Got their missile offline. We're gonna do another burst because we missed a little bit there. There we go, so let's do that. Should kill him anyway, but I don't really see a point to taking out the O2, just because you probably won't kill them with no oxygen anyway, so, and then I'd always take out the piloting before the engines. Uh, that's not enough, so let's try to attack them. Oh, they have a mind control unit. Oops. Hopefully it doesn't take out our piloting completely. Either way, we're at zero dodge chance right now. So let's hope the shields get up. Yep, shields got up. He did just take out our dodge cans completely. So we'll send the same guy in to repair it. Seems perfectly logical. The only reason we're not taking damage right now is because they're firing these off, like not doing it right, not taking out our shields and then hitting that, which is good for sure. Good for us anyway. I should just take out their mind control. So he stops attacking myself. Alright. Yeah, definitely got more scrap killing them. Didn't really get anything else, but got more scrap. We have a good amount of scrap right now. Okay, we can't get there and exit, so let's just get out of here. Hopefully we can find a store. Uh, let's do... 10. Because I think both of these take missiles, don't they? Yeah, so we want to keep a little bit of missiles if we need them. Uh, let's go this way, I guess. I don't like being boarded, but I don't like nebulas even more. There's a store right there, so we can hit here in the store. I want to try to get as much scrap as possible before the store. Alright, these guys are trying to get away, so... Take out their piloting. Alright, we got boarded again. Where are you going? O2? Doors. 
We don't have any good doors anyway, so might as well just destroy something else. Alright, they did get a missile off, which missed, so that's good. This is a pretty powerful human. Okay, I keep missing their piloting, so let's send it all on there now. So I don't want them to get away, we'll send one more on here. Alright, the piloting's done, so they won't be getting away for a while. That can't do anything. Let's actually get this guy healed up. While we're waiting for them to die. Alright. Ooh. I have a good feeling about this run. We have gotten a lot of good stuff. Look at this. Burst Laser Mark II. Yes. That is so good. We're going to get that powered immediately. Oh, the ship is looking good already. Alright, we'll go here and then the store. If there's nothing really at the store, we'll just increase our shields probably. I think that will be the best thing. They have a burst laser mark too as well. So let's do... Oh, got boarded again. Are they going O2? Can't let them get the O2, so let's actually take both of you guys over there. Okay, we got hit a little bit there. Not super bad. You go into the med bay. Because our engines are hurt. Alright, so the burst laser does take a little bit longer, which is... Which is fine. Alright, you go back here, close all the doors. You go get in there for just a second. I don't know if we should wait for the burst laser to fire, or like to fire them all at the same time, or what. Alright, let's go to the store. Let's see what we got here. We got people and drone control crew teleporter and clone bay. Nothing really. I don't know, drone control with a defense drone might be a good thing to get. Hmm. I think I'd rather have cloaking as like a defense for that. I'm not sure which one of these to keep. I'm thinking an ion bomb would be better, even though it takes longer. Four ion damage is really good. So we're gonna sell we're gonna sell a laser because we don't need another laser. We're gonna sell the small bomb. Keep the ion bomb. Could get another crew member. Do we want one? Let's get a couple fuel. Let's do this. Let's upgrade our shields. And our evade. Okay, we don't have enough for two. Think that, and then let's see if we can still afford a crew member. We can afford an NG, so let's get an NG. You can be our sensors man. Alright. So now we've got two larger shields, a little bit more uh, evade chance, and... Some good weapons. I think I want cloaking and hacking for sure. I think I'm gonna wait to shoot them all at the same time. Cause I feel a lot safer now, defense-wise, with evade chance decent, like a quarter evade chance and two laser shields. All right, they're all ready. So we're gonna send for the first burst. Let's go all on their weapons. That's gonna mess with them for a while. And we'll actually do this one here, this one there, that there. 
I thought that would take out their shields, but all right. Also, keep the burst laser as the priority for act like being active. So if it gets if our uh, system gets hit, then the burst these ones will go off before the burst laser. So you want to keep the burst laser active as long as possible because it does the most damage. Yeah, we'll trade that. Wow, that's a great trade. We're good on fuel for a while, that's for sure. We'll aid them. They do have a teleporter, so they're gonna teleport a mantis, it looks like. We can defend against that. We'll send both these guys in here. Alright, almost charged. Okay. They actually can't do anything to us. And, like, the only thing they can really do is hurt us with this guy. So I'm gonna take this guy out, and then if they don't take him back or send in another one. Okay, they took him back. I'm just gonna keep playing this game of sending that guy out of here and level up my people. So, yeah. I'm gonna level up my people. And I'll be back when that is finished. Alright guys, I am back and we have fully leveled pilot, fully leveled engines, and fully leveled shields personnel. And almost fully leveled weapons. Now, they have an NG with one health and a mantis with four. So, they also have a clone bay. If we do this right though, we might be able to take out their people before we take out their uh, ship. All right, so let's try this. Yep, took out all the people. Oh, but the clone bay is not offline. I was trying to take that offline. There we go. Got more scrap that way if you take out their crew, so that's awesome. There's a store here. See how many beacons we can hit before we go there. Uh, let's get this. No? Alright, it was a trap, apparently. Alright, let's see what they got. Fence drone. That I don't really care about that. They do have an ion blast mark two, it seems. So that can actually do a lot. Alright, everything's ready though, so let's go all on their weapons. Sweet. Now let's do shields. Uh something like that. We'll do two on the oxygen. See if this works. Okay, so number one is the burst laser, right? So we want to do something like... Oh, we hit a drone. There we go. 20 more scrap. We think we can go here and the store and still get out. They have an asteroid field, though. <laughs> they got someone with no shields in an asteroid field. That sounds smart. I don't even have to do anything, probably. They're just gonna die anyway. <laughs> that was definitely easy. I actually don't think we're gonna hit that store. I don't really have a ton of scrap to make it worthwhile, and I don't know if we can get out still. Sure. That's a good amount of scrap. It's a good trade. 
Uh, let's see. We detected and retrieve an escape pod floating nearby. It's Mantis. Pride open. Awesome, we got a guy. You're actually our doorman now. Actually, you're the, sh you're the doorman. You're the sensors. Just so that this guy can go and fight and not uh, jeopardize the doors. So I'm saving some scrap again because I want to find another store and hopefully have enough by then to buy cloaking or something. That's not a good offer. Go oh, rebel controlled. Don't really want to deal with Lanius. Oh, you're hurt. I guess I should heal you probably. That was from that fight with the mantis. Now we have two mantis though, so if we can get like a teleporter, that would be nice. Could work out well. Let's go here. See if there's a store in any of these sectors. Or beacons. They have no shields, so... Or let's do one there. Like that. We're gonna get torn up by this asteroid field again. Oh, looks like we don't need that. Hit us once with the missile, but that hit nothing, so... Only hole damage. We got 165 scrap, so it's a good amount for a store. Go up here, I guess, first. Nothing here. Let's go over this way. Alright, so now we're facing people with two layers of shields. Probably want to get that ion bomb up and running pretty soon. Possibly. Alright, so let's go everything on there. Let's just do everything on their weapons first off. Alright, and then we'll go everything on their shields. Because they could do damage to us with the Howard Beam since it can go through one layer of shields. But, oh, I timed that wrong. Alright. Stop auto-firing all those, and then we'll wait for them all to be ready. Okay, we'll do... that. And now that they have no shields, or I guess they're gonna have one again, but we'll just keep shooting. Alright, good amount of scrap, and we got to know where everything is. It looks like this is the only store. Stress here, store. Hmm. Could hit this one, this one, then distress in store. Probably. Just because it's a nebula, mainly. The one after this one, anyway. So they have, they do have a crew teleporter, so let's see where he goes. We'll take him out with the mantis. And we'll wait for everything to be ready at the same time. Alright. So we'll go everything on weapons, because they can do damage to us. But not anymore. I missed one of those. We'll keep letting these auto fire just to make sure their piloting stays offline and they can't escape. You go to the med bay. Got some more scrap. And put you back. Or I guess we don't have a station, so we'll have to save this. Okay. Go here. Gonna get a lot of scrap before the store. Alright. They got some decent weapons and a teleporter. Let's throw this guy in here. 
for all our weapons to charge. Okay. Oops. Messed that up just a bit. We're going to keep auto fire on since they only have one layer of shields and take this out so they can't get away. Alright, now they have no shields, no weapons. I'm gonna bring myself to zero evasion just so that I can uh, heal up. Okay. Got a big surplus of scrap now. Hopefully we can get some good at the store. Sure. Bunch of scrap. Gonna have to get a little bit more fuel. Alright, they got a hacking drone. This could be dangerous. Alright, that's not too bad. That's a really long hack, though. Brought it down to like almost 50%. Or 15%. Um, let's do this. Take their hacking offline. Their missile's still operational, though. Hopefully it doesn't hit anything important. Yeah, it missed. Alright, we need to stop auto-fire. Just because they have two layers of shields. Okay. Send everything on... Everything but the first one on weapons. And then we can keep auto-firing since they're only on one layer. There we go. We just got a Hermes missile. What is that? Three damage. Requires three power though. 14 second charge time. It's pretty good. I don't know if we want that, but... Either way, we can sell it. Might be something good to use though. They have cloaking and hacking. They have some more crew. They have a burst laser mark one. Chain ion. 14, 22. So it'd be like between these two. This does four ion damage, but it can, since it's a bomb, it can get past, uh, Drones. And this cannot. This just takes a lot less time. Um, hmm. Could get a burst laser mark one. Uh, which would do two shots in 11 seconds. I don't know if I want to get a burst laser mark one. I don't think it's worth it. I'm gonna get cloaking. I was thinking to get hacking. Possibly. I don't know if I need it right now. Um hmm. Now I gotta decide what to do with these. This only takes one power, this takes three, so I'm not gonna use the Hermes missile. I think I'm gonna use the ion bomb instead. So we'll sell that. And then... Unless I want to use Chain Iron, no, that takes three power as well. And then we will upgrade our systems that we already have. I'm gonna keep the basic lasers for right now. I'm gonna need another power bar for this. I wouldn't mind... I think I'm gonna keep cloaking at one because it cloaks for five seconds and then you have a four ion damage like cooldown sort of thing which means that you could cloak through each power surge where if you have 15 seconds of cloak time and then four ion damage cooldown you won't be able to cloak through the next power surge during the flagship 
So that's only like good for the flagship, but you might want to keep it like that. I'm not sure. So we could get some evade chance. Could get shields. Let's get a couple of evade chance. Uh, our evade chance is now up to 45. Let's go here, I guess. Oh, I forgot to buy fuel. Alright, this ship has two missile launchers, and they're gonna board us. Where are they gonna go? Right there is probably the worst spot they could go. Actually, you stay here. Okay, we'll cloak out of those. Have a 105% dodge chance. Send everything on weapons for now. Okay, we'll do the same thing because their missile launcher is still online. Send you over there. Okay. So now we want to let everything charge and do fire at the same time again. Okay, everything's charged. Let's do everything on shields. Nah, there's no shields. We can just leave it auto-firing on whatever. Oh, they got fires all over the ship. Alright, so I think we want to do a third layer of shields. Should be 160. So let's go to the exit beacon. Probably gonna jump out of here. Uh, let's attack them. We might actually get a free crew, crew member right here. They have a burst laser mark three though. So hopefully we can dodge out of that. Or take it offline first. If we send all our stuff right now, should be able to take that offline. Dodge the missile. That worked out perfectly. Still have a missile up, so let's actually keep firing on that. Alright, that's down now. So we want to stop auto fire. Let them all charge and then go after shields, because they got a fire there. Might actually be able to take them out instead, like the crew. Okay, we'll accept it. We have a lot of mantises. If we can get a boarding system, that would be really good. We could actually hit here and then go back and exit still, so we will do that. Get as much scrap as possible. Super easy ship. Can't really, I don't think it can do anything to us. We are looking pretty strong for this sector, I think. Alright, let's go back. And we'll jump to the next sector. Go abandoned. We don't want to go through a nebula. But that is going to be it for this episode, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Looking pretty good so far. Once we get some more powerful shields, we can... Or once we get two people with more powerful shields, we can throw this in instead of a burst laser. And be able to do four ion damage in 22 seconds. Which would be really helpful. But, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, as that helps out a lot. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for future content. And we'll see you guys next time.